<laughs> Minister, uh, can I uh, press you on the issue of public and private? Uh, I think, given that COVID is going to be with us for the foreseeable future, any consideration now of a return to the two-tier system is just untenable, and the government need to make up its mind. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fianna Fáil seems to be somewhat sitting on the fence and even hinting maybe we should go back sooner rather than later to the two-tier system. I want to push in the exact opposite direction uh, and say it shouldn't just be for a few months. Uh, we need COVID care, we need COVID surge capacity, and we need to deal with the waiting list crisis and non-COVID care. The only way that can be done is to integrate all healthcare capacity, public-private, into a single system. And I put it to you, Minister, we need to grasp that nettle now and take the private hospitals fully into public uh, ownership, not on the basis of paying huge amounts of rent effectively uh, to billionaires who own them, but actually taking them over fully. Would you respond to that? Thank you very much, Deputy Boyd Barrett. I mean, I have to be very careful on the floor of this door because I am conscious that we're in an agreement, obviously, between the Private Hospital Association and the HSE in relation to the use of uh, private hospitals for, in the first instance, a three-month period, which I think from my memory runs to the end of June, with the opportunity to extend for a further month, and then the opportunity after that of extending on a month-by-month -month basis um, in, 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 with both sides agreement to that regard. We're not doing it for profit, as you, uh, for providing profit for anybody, as it is done on an open cost-book basis. We'll be subject to CNAG scrutiny, PAC scrutiny, and all that, no doubt, uh, as well. But there, there is a clear understanding in the agreement that at the end of this month, the month of May, there is a 30-day kind of review period. And I do, do intend that my department at the HSE will use that period of time uh, to review the arrangement. Lots of suggestions and comments have come up, and then to arrive at an informed viewpoint to engage with the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform uh, and to revert uh, to government and to the Oireachtas. It's not my intention to take over the ownership uh, of the private hospitals through this arrangement. It is my intention to try and keep the capacity uh, at the level we require uh, for the COVID-19 pandemic. I think the question Deputy Shortall asks about the future beyond that is, is in my view, a question for, for the Slauncher Care work being led by Laura McGuire. Well, I think, I think we need to go further now, Minister. I mean, I just don't see... It, there was never a justification for a two-tier system. There's been a general acknowledgement with Slauncher Care that that is the case. Now that we have the private uh, healthcare capacity in our hands, why on earth would we go back? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. There is a problem with this contract because it's essentially rent to people who are making profit from health, whatever way you put it, uh, why not take it directly under public control? And it's the only way we can establish how much additional capacity we need, but we certainly need significant additional ICU capacity generally, staffing levels right across the healthcare system. Unless you have a single integrated system, I don't see how you can even do that. But also you need, uh, and I'd like to hear your response to this, to respond to the IMNO's demands in terms of pay parity for nurses with other healthcare workers, big recruitment campaign, paying them the awards that they were granted as a result of the industrial, uh, the industrial action. And one quick question you might not have time to answer, I just want to ask you, is about, I've been asking for a long time about blood plasma therapy. Uh, uh, there is trials going on, <clears throat> but and 500 people have signed up to donate plasma, but the machines in James's, the phoresis machines, are sitting idle at the moment. Okay, and I know that from somebody who went up there, and the staff told them uh, the results from blood plas plasma therapy are very good. If there's people willing to donate, why are we not collecting the plasma? <coughs> Um, I'll revert to you in writing on it. On the enhanced nurse contract, I'm pleased that the number of nurses now on it is 4,500 compared to 3,200 3, last month. Uh, but I, I want us to see that every nurse who wants that enhanced nurse contract can get it quickly, and I've been clear to the HSE in that regard. Regarding nurses or other staff working in private hospitals, my understanding from the agreement is that they remain employees of that entity. Um, so, so just to be clear on that. Look, I, I want to create a universal health service. I want to create uh, the Slauncher Care uh, health service, but the reality is we don't own the private hospitals. We have the use uh, of these buildings for a period of time by, by agreement with the private hospital owners. You, you'd like to go further. I know, I know you would, but I just want to put the factual position on the record of this.